Floods are always on our minds, and every year more and more people die due to flooding. And the economic damages are in hundreds of billions of dollars globally and are projected to increase. Cities are highly complex systems, and they include multiple layers of infrastructure. For example, the power grid, the transportation network, the natural systems, um, all of them are intertwined with the socioeconomic sector. And we call this system of systems the urban multiplex. So to understand how flooding impacts the urban multiplex, we must understand how its various components are connected. Now, each sector has accumulated a wealth of data and models. In addition, several federal agencies have been collecting data for years. For example, the USGS, FEMA, and EPA. The problem is that these data are siloed, and up until now, there was no way to exchange information across them. And that is the reason why we still could not predict the total flood uh, impact on cities. Now, the Urban Flooding Open Knowledge Network or the UFO can solve this problem. It is a common infrastructure that supports data from several urban systems to provide information about the impacts of flooding at individual infrastructure features across continental US. So our goal with UFO KN is to provide anyone, anytime, anywhere with um, flood forecasts that are relevant to them in their current situation. And to do this, we work to integrate a lot of different data sets about how our buildings and roads um, super fun sites, bridges, are, are located throughout the country and we standardize the way that we represent them so that they can integrate with hydrologic forecasts. Right now they're fully integrated with national water model forecasts. We've done some test cases to integrate these features with SWIM and HECRAS output. The ultimate goal is that anybody can find a location, whether it's their home, the road they want to travel on, the hospital they want to go to, and they can get the best possible forecast for that location and the time they're interested in. So as a part of the UFO can, we are developing both corner scale tools as well as local scale tools that can be uh, used by the, the, the required people. The flood hotspot detection tool would allow uh, the users to understand what would be the specific hotspots of an upcoming event that would be three days or 10 days in the future. The rapid flood impact assessment would provide building scale level information of which locations are at risk from an upcoming event. We also have tools that look into probabilistic forecasts and look at you know, past and historical records of inundation in locations and then use that information to predict which locations can be at risk in the future. We're also looking at tools for the future that go into flood notification and reporting, the transportation routing, which is a, a big problem during flood events, and looking at utilities and operations management and understanding the risk to critical infrastructure and the vulnerability assessment of that infrastructure. And so what we've done is sort of take all these bits of information, understood how they connect and how they correlate, and done that in a way that we can help emergency responders, homeowners, business owners, make those really impactful decisions that preserve um, not only their property, but their lives. But there's so much more that we can accomplish and specifically answering socioeconomic questions about how flooding impacts our communities. And so for example, that might be, you know, does flooding impact uh, a community that really depends on the transportation network to get to their jobs? or is it primarily impacting low-income families? And these types of questions are possible with the UFO KN because we can correlate these flooding impacts to socioeconomic data like the census and other sources of information that really describe and understand our communities. The work that we do requires an unprecedented engagement not only among experts from different disciplines, but also various organizations and stakeholders. And what drives our team is the intellectual challenge of solving this convergent problem and also the realization that what we're doing will improve the lives of millions of people. The team that we've assembled, they come from very diverse background, engineers, um, knowledge graph experts, GIS professionals, 
And despite the diverse backgrounds, everybody is focused on this core mission of being able to provide kind of life-saving information to people when they need it in an easily digestible, consumable way. And we want to evolve continuously with the data science that's coming up. So we want to include machine learning approaches, deep learning approaches, artificial intelligence into our systems, and try to make this process of forecasting much more efficient and faster and deliver to the device of their choice. What we want to do is be able to help as many people as possible understand what's happening when a flooding event occurs. And we look forward to the, to the time where the UFOKN can really help communities weather these storms uh, without negative impacts um, to their livelihood. And our hope for the future is that we will fulfill our mission, which is delivering flood information to anyone, anytime, anywhere. <laughs>